The Marines and sailors of the U.S. 26th Marine Expeditionary Unit, SOC, are participating in a Marine Air Ground Task Force training exercise as part of the Kuwait Bilateral Exercise 3.0, enhancing operational readiness and partnerships while deployed to the Middle East region, October 8 to 22, 2023. Captain Angelica White PO Land Systems, reports. The sustainment training began with the USS Bataan, flagship of the Bataan Amphibious Ready Group and USS Carter Hall, arriving in the vicinity of Kuwait to offload elements and equipment necessary for execution via surface connectors and aviation assets. Kuwait 3.0 follows a series of bilateral training exercises centered on building partnerships through subject matter expert exchanges, facilitating the exchange of tactics, techniques, and procedures between U.S. And Kuwaiti forces, while also exercising MAGTF core mission essential tasks required to sustain warfighting readiness and the operational capabilities necessary as the premier crisis response force within U.S. Central Command. During this exercise, the 26MEU SOC S Maritime Special Purpose Force will conduct a covert, advanced, long range, maritime reconnaissance mission using combat rubber raiding craft launched over the horizon via an autonomous landing craft utility in order to secure a beach for follow on MAGTF forces within the simulated threat based scenario. The MSPF will also conduct advanced close quarters combat training, advanced marksmanship training, and military freefall operations. More so, the MSPF will execute the majority of the training with a naval special warfare element attached to the MSPF, showcasing MEU slash SOF integration within the ASCENTCOM area of responsibility and the partnership with Special Operations Task Force, Central Command. Marines and sailors from the logistics combat element and ground combat element will participate in myriad of squad, platoon, and company-level live-fire ranges, while the aviation combat element executes close air support utilizing joint terminal attack controllers from across the MAGTF to sustain warfighting readiness. Kuwait 3.0 provides the team with a unique opportunity to exercise the full operational capabilities of the ARG-MU SOC and to showcase the ability of the ARG-MU SOC to exploit the asymmetric advantages the sea provides as maneuver space over a notional adversary within a realistic threat-based scenario, said Colonel Dennis Dolph Sampson, commanding officer of the 26MU SOC. Short-duration exercises like Kuwait 3.0 are important, they provide the Marines and sailors of the 26MU SOC an opportunity to train to advanced skills in an effort to sustain our crisis response and warfighting readiness, provide an opportunity for the MU SOC MAGTF to conduct amphibious operations coupled with land-based operations, and provide an opportunity to strengthen relationships with regional partners. More so, this exercise comes at an opportune time to truly showcase the relevance and operational capabilities of the 26MEU SOC, more specifically, the capacity, staff depth, and competency of the command element to see to the MU SOC in distributed areas across geographic combatant command boundaries, with an element of the 26MEU SOC. Conducting training in Spain and this element simultaneously executing advanced MAGTF training in Kuwait. 26th Marine Expeditionary Unit has successfully partnered with Kuwaiti forces during two small-scale bilateral training exercises so far during this deployment with Alpha Company, Battalion Landing Team 16th focused on infantry tactics, techniques, and procedures and integrated live-fire training within the Udari Range Complex. Kuwait 3.0 provides an opportunity to strengthen the long-standing partnership that the MU, SOC, has built over several years of training alongside Kuwaiti forces on Kuwaiti bases. Colonel Dennis Sampson, commanding officer of the 26th MU, SOC, Kuwait 3.0 provides the team with a unique opportunity to exercise the full operational capabilities of the ARG-MU, SOC, and to showcase the ability of the ARG-MU, SOC. To exploit the asymmetric advantages the sea provides as maneuver space over a notional adversary within a realistic threat-based scenario. The Marine Expeditionary Unit is a special operations-capable, 
Marine Air Ground Task Force comprised of approximately 2,400 Marines and sailors and made up of three major subordinate elements with the ability to provide agility in dynamic security environments spanning across multiple geographic combatant command boundaries. The 26MEU SOC, serves as one of the U.S. premier crisis response forces capable of conducting amphibious operations, crisis response, and limited contingency operations, including enabling the introduction of follow-on forces and designated special operations, in support of theater requirements of the geographic combatant commander. Coupled with the USS Batan ARG, the 26th MEU SOC serves as a premier stand-in force with a full complement of all domain operational capabilities to operate persistently within the literals and or the weapons engagement zones of an adversary. The 26th MEU SOC, embarked aboard the ships of the Bataan Amphibious Ready Group, serves as the Trigeographic Combatant Command Immediate Crisis Response Force within the 5th and 6th Fleet's areas of operation. The Bataan Amphibious Ready Group and Embarked 26 MEU, SOC, embarked on the USS Bataan and USS Carter Hall, under the command and control of Task Force 515, are on a scheduled deployment in the U.S. Naval Forces Central Command Area of Operations, employed by U.S. Fifth Fleet to increase maritime security and stability in the Middle East region. The Bataan Amphibious Ready Group and 26 MEU, SOC, have been deployed since July 10, 2023. The WASP-class amphibious assault ship, USS Bataan, Harper's Ferry-class dock landing ship, USS Carter Hall, and Embark 26 MEU, SOC, have been operating in the U.S. Naval Forces Central Command-5 TH Fleet Area of Operations, providing support to regional and coalition partners. The USS Mesa Verde, assigned to the Bataan Amphibious Ready Group, and elements of the 26 MEU, SOC, serving under the command and control of Task Force 61 halves, are concurrently on a scheduled deployment in the U.S. Naval Forces Europe and Africa area of operations, employed by 6th Fleet to defend U.S., Allied, and partner interests.